Hi friends, welcome to the answer writing practice for mains. From today onwards, instead of alternate days, I will be discussing the answers every day. Every day, I will give one question and I will discuss the answer for that question. So as prelims is nearing, you may not be able to spend much time for the mains answer writing practice. So for those students who think you cannot write the answer, what you can do is you can look at the question brainstorm the possible points and then compare your points with my answer in that way that mains answer writing that brainstorming will continue because you should not leave it completely even if films is there so let us discuss the answers for the questions given in the previous video question number 14 i gave about the impact of covid 19 on the indian economy and also we should discuss various methods available to the government of India to address this challenge, this economic challenge because of COVID-19. So it falls under General Studies Paper 3 and as I told you in GS3 generally you should write more points, as many points as possible. As they ask you about discuss, you can discuss in one or two lines about each point. And in, in economic sciences, generally introductions shall be short because anyhow you will have a lot of points to lot of points right in two pages you can keep introduction very short so you can say in the introduction you can say that you know, just COVID-19 started in China and spread across the world it has a large impact not only on the health but also on the economy global economy this can be the introduction and then you can come and discuss the impact of COVID-19 on the Indian economy in the Indian economy also you divide the economy into different sectors agriculture the industries service sector the employment and then on each sector of economy you can discuss the impact of COVID-19 in that way the answer will look very broad let's come to the answer see you write a short introduction and then what is the impact of COVID-19 on Indian economy you can say that 90% of Indian Indians employed Indians are employed in the unorganized sector unorganized sector and most of these unorganized sector employees are affected hard by the COVID-19 because they were not paid salaries. So it's almost 40 million according to MRD report. MRD report, almost 40 million people lost their jobs. Then in the economy, see the economy basically runs on the supply and the demand. Supply and demand. So demand means uh, people purchasing the goods. But the consumption expenditure, the consumption expenditure fell down drastically because as people do not have the salaries, uh, not getting the salaries, as they don't have the income, they definitely cannot consume much. So their consumption expenditure has fallen down. This is called demand depression. So there is a demand depression in the economy. Because of demand depression, definitely the supply will also reduce automatically. Along with that, the supply has fallen down because the labor was not there, supply has fallen down even the investors are reduced so we have uh, it has led to supply shock so supply shock has happened because of covid 19 on the indian economy not an indian economy um, uh, global economy also then in the labor sector particularly the construction labor as you know the construction labor are a large number in india because of increasing infrastructure development in india so the construction labor have a uh, uh, lot to uh, you know lose because of this COVID-19 also MG and RGA in India several people are employed daily wage labors in MG and RGA and they were affected because of COVID-19 even the GDP of India has fallen down drastically in the last 100 years maybe this is the time when the GDP of India fallen down drastically after the 2008 crisis this is the biggest fall in the GDP of India the transportation sector among the service sector Transport sector, transportation sector is highly affected because the mobilization was restricted. The mobilization was restricted because of lockdown. So transportation sector, the airlines, you know, the road transport, the railways were highly affected and the employ, the people employed in those sectors were highly affected. Even the banks, restaurants or hotels, these sectors among the service sector, these were also affected. affected. Then the export oriented sector, for example, the agriculture, particularly agriculture, the export, the export based uh, products in India in agriculture are say the grapes or the mangoes because the COVID happened in the month of in the summer months, the mango export of India is highly affected. Even the, you know, the prawns, the, the uh, 
पिस्की कल्चर द फिशरीज द प्रोसेस फूड्स विच वर एक्सपोर्टेड टू फ्रॉम द इंडिया आर हाईली एफेक्टेड इन दैट वे द एग्रीकल्चर वाज एफेक्टेड इन इंडिया इवन द रेमिटेंसेस द इंटरनेशनल सेक्टर इन द इंटरनेशनल सेक्टर दोस इंडियंस वर्किंग अब्रॉड हु सेंड द हु सेंड मनी टू इंडिया इन द फॉर रेमिटेंसेस वर हाईली एफेक्टेड बिकॉज़ कोविड एफेक्टेड ग्लोबली ग्लोबली एफेक्टेड ऑल द कंट्रीज सो इन दैट वे यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग अबाउट एग्रीकल्चर सर्विस सेक्टर एक्सपेक्टिंग अबाउट द यू नो इंडस्ट्रीज द एम्प्लॉयमेंट the gdp international so try to keep different dimensions in your answer then see the question is asking about what are the various tools available for government of india so here you should not only tell various tools available but also tell what tools government has used because in the last few months government has used certain tools government has used certain methods to address this challenge of economic challenge because of covid 19 for example government means even rbi comes under government so reserve bank of india has reduced the cash reserve ratio from 4% to 3% so the banks have got 1% of their money back from rbi so now banks have more money to lend to the corporate sector which was in trouble difficulties because of covid 19 even the interest payments to the banks were postponed so they were frozen so the people who have taken the loans wanted to pay the interest rate for Uh, 3 to 4 months the rbi has kept this kept this rule in order to you know give some relief to those corporates or even the msmes small industries who have taken the loan and are unable to repay because of the covid 19 because of the uh, supply shock, because of the fall in the demand then even government has opened a special window where reserve bank of india has given almost rupees 1 lakh crore to the banks in india to various banks in india but that has to be invested only in the corporate bonds only the corporate bonds because to help the corporates the rbi released 1 lakh crore to the banks so their banks can lend to the corporates then open market operations see rbi has bought the government bonds from the people back from the people worth almost 100 billion rupees 100 billion rupees corporate bonds even another mechanism used was see as many states particular states like uh, maharashtra were reeling under high economic pressure central government said that whatever limits were there for the state governments to borrow from the central government in those limits half of that can be borrowed in the first few months april may june so more borrowing limit has been given to the state governments so that states which are having economic pressure can borrow from the central government the coming to the agriculture sector agriculture oil seeds and pulses which were mostly not purchased by the government generally government on msp purchases rice wheat and other products oil seeds and pulses are purchased in less quantities generally but now those quantities are increased and the government agencies are asked to purchase more oil seeds and pulses from the farmers to give a relief to the farmers then in the cash almost for 200 million women in india rupees 500 were given per month in the month of april may june so similarly the vulnerable the you know the disabled and the old people were given rupees 2000 per month as pension in these months similarly farmers almost 87 million farmers of india were given at a time rupees 2000 so that you know uh, the economic effect that had on their lives because of covid 19 can be relieved to some extent to some extent so this is also an important tool used by the government of india then for health workers almost i think 2.2 million health workers of india were given an insurance cover of almost 50 lakhs so these are the these are the things government has already done to reduce the uh, reduce the negative effects of the covid 19 on the indian economy now what more can be done there are still some more can be done you can suggest uh, suggest you can write your ideas you can say that unconditional cash transfer still has to reach more number of people as i told you 40 million people have lost their jobs as per mrd report unconditional cash transfer shall happen to all of them uh, either to their jandan bank accounts or people do not have if anybody does not have the jandan bank account through the innovative methods of public distribution system shall be used for transferring the cash then loan guarantee loan guarantee loan guarantee shall be ensured for all the msmes which are affected because of covid 19 there also the definition of npa shall be changed if you observe friends you observe non performing assets are those those 
which could not repay either interest or actual to up to 90 days. Now, this 90 days has to be extended for more number of days. Maybe government has to say, RP has to say that uh, a loan will not be considered as non-performing asset for more number of days, 120 days, 140 days, etc. So that MSMEs can get some relief. Similarly, the IBC, the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code uh, has a limit that if any MSME could not uh, repay uh, to the limit of 1 lakh rupees, you know, the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code will be started again as an MSME with help of the bank. And this limit has to be increased, has to be, it is all increased, but still it has to be increased to reduce the uh, impact on the MSMEs in India because as I told you MSMEs contribute almost 30% 30, 30 of GDP and they are the largest provider of employment in India after agriculture. So this has to be taken care of specially. Even government has to reduce the tax, reduce the tax, though tax laws were released in the recent budget, it has to be tweaked to address this uh, COVID-19 situation. And center and states have to work together to pool as much financial resources as possible and this is a time when cooperative federalism has to come into the picture. Similarly, RBI has to release more NRI bonds. NRI bonds are those bonds which are sold to the NRIs for a higher interest rate. In this way, government can get more money, more funds into the into India, which can be used to reduce the economic pressure. Even the see, government has already reduced the, already increased. I mean, extended the time limit for filing GS returns. Corporates now uh, no need to file. GST returns till June 30th, still it is extended and uh, we have to suggest that it, it has to be still extended because even now in the month of September, the COVID-19 pressure has not completely been relieved. Even Vivasa, Vishwas, Sapka, Vishwas, these government schemes of filing GST income tax returns has to be delayed, extended even further. Similarly, in the public distribution system, reforms have to be brought in so that all those who you know who have the cash crunch in these difficult times shall be provided all the necessities 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 easily and you can write a short conclusion saying that though government is you know following all these measures government has to take care that these short term measures do not impact our economy in the long term because we have to take care of the revenue deficit also the the uh, physical deficit of the economy should also be taken care of so it has to be balanced in this way you can end this answer so here, if you observe in economy answers, you have to write more points and discussion should be lesser. Discuss less about each point and write more points. Coming to the next question, water crisis. Water crisis can come in geography in general studies paper 1 or it can come in general studies paper 3 environment also. For example, 2017 mains, uh, the floods were given, the same question is given in GS1 and GS3. But while writing answer in geography, the way you write should be different. You have to draw more maps, use more geographical terms. When you write the same answer in the environment, you have to use more environmental terms and write in the environmental dimension. Okay. Now, so uh, the question is, the water crisis in the present generation is more because of poor management and less because of scarcity and stress. This is a question. This statement. You try to explain this statement for around half page and then come to the question. The question is, Critically analyze situation of India. Critically analyze means we have to discuss about the situation of water crisis in India, not completely in the negative light. We have to write some positive things also, means what government is doing, we are in the right direction. It means you have to write few points in the positive direction and more points in the negative direction. Means what is the problem of India when it comes to the uh, access to the water? That is the meaning of critically analyze. You have to write both sides of the situation in India. Let us first discuss the statement. The water case has more to do with poor management than scarcity. Let us write what do you mean by scarcity and what do, we, what do you mean by poor management. We can say that scarcity or stress of the water means rainfall pattern of India generally in the last two years we have faced droughts, consecutive droughts. Particularly in the arid regions there is a, there is a a huge stress of the water resources. So naturally, the, there is drying of water bodies because of global warming, because of climate change. So naturally also, there is a problem due to some extent. There is scarcity and stress naturally. However, poor management is a major problem in India, not only in India, globally. But we'll come into India. 
poor management means we are not reusing the water, not recycling the water. Whatever what is going out of the uh, houses has not been recycled for further usage. Similar in agriculture, we are using wrong irrigation practices like flood agriculture. Means you use excessive water. Rather than using drip irrigation, more farmers are using flood irrigation. Even in the arid areas, in the dry land areas also, excessive water has been used. For example, sugarcane farming in the Vidarbha region of Maharashtra is a poor agricultural practice. Similarly, you no need to use pure water for all purposes. For potable purpose, you can use pure water. For example, for mopping or other purposes in the domestic usage, you can use second grade water. So, this is also poor management. Then polluting. India is polluting some of its pristine rivers like Ganga and Yamuna other rivers uh, because of which there is water scarcity. Similarly, over exploitation of water for construction, example Gurgaon. In fact, you can draw a map. In fact, you know you can draw a map. You can draw a map and you can say you can say that see Delhi surrounding area Gurgaon because of over construction I mean because of over exploitation of water due to construction you can write it construction and you know uh, you can say in Punjab and Haryana let's see this is Gurgaon this is Punjab and Haryana wrong agricultural practices excessive irrigation irrigation over exploitation of water then you can say even Vidarbha you know sugarcane cultivation in the dry land not a good practice then you can say you can draw Imna river or Ganga river and you can say pollution, pollution of the rivers. Then you can say the pollution of the groundwater, groundwater. Or you can say, you know, uh, encroachment on the wetlands in you know, Chennai, Hyderabad, Mumbai, wetlands. So you can draw in a map in different places of India. You can say different methods of poor management. I mean, different poor management practices uh, due to which water crisis is coming to India. So, if it is a geography question, you draw a map and show all these things. It will be better in geography, GS1, you draw a map. Now, what is the situation in India? Coming to that, they ask you to critically analyze. So, write both the negative aspects of situation in India as well as positive things happening. For example, you can say, uh, in the last two years, because of weak monsoon, almost 25% of India has come under drought, particularly the South India. The Western India and South India, particularly 50% of it has drought like situation because of which India is going into water crisis. You know, a composite water management index by Niti Ayog, it is a report actually. It said that, it said that by 2020-22, almost 21 major cities of India, like you know, like Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Hyderabad, like that. 21 major cities of India are going to have zero groundwater. Means most of their groundwater is going to dry up because of over exploitation. Dry up. Okay. So the report clearly mentions that. And you know, almost 100 million population will be affected in these cities because of this uh, uh, zero groundwater that is going to come. You might have seen in the recent YouTube videos also. The Delhi is going to lose all the groundwater in the next two years. So you mentioned that. Uh, the dark side, dark side of the situation in India. Then, also the same report, the CWMA report of Niti Ayog said that by 2030, the demand will be two times the supply. The demand of uh, water in India would be twice the supply of water in India. So, it is a major problem. It will lead to almost 6% loss in the GDP for India. Then, you can say, you know, the constructions are unless losing more water. You can say about how the Indian agricultural practices even now are not you know, water sensitive or water friendly. You can say how the pollution even after we have a lot of uh, uh, anti-pollution acts. For example, we have uh, Water Pollution Prevention Act. You have uh, Environment Protection Act. In, in spite of all the, having all these acts, still in India, the rivers, lakes and wetlands, even the groundwater are getting polluted. Polluted. That is the situation in India. But on the positive side, you can say the government of India is taking some measures, for example, Namami Gange project to clean up the Ganga river, Simla Limna river also. Then you can talk about a, a separate ministry formed only for this uh, uh, water, water conservation and then uh, uh, keeping the rivers clean. On this purpose, separate ministry has been formed. And you know, piped water, because most of the Indians do not have uh, clean drinking water, particularly rural areas, government is planning to have piped water by 2024. Of course, it is more ambitious. 
but the 2024 government is trying to have pipe water supply to all the houses in India. By that, we can put water metering. When the water metering is kept, obviously the usage of water will be reduced. In that way, the per capita consumption of water can be reduced, which is a good measure. Even the pricing of water for farmers not may not be for the poor or marginal farmers, but most of the farmers only when water pricing is there, they would think twice before using excessive water for irrigation. Similarly, for non non portable use, government is bringing in a legislation to use recycled water, recycled like, like Japan, like Japan, recycled water shall be used, second grade water shall be used for non portable use. Similarly, drip irrigation is actually picking up most of the in dry land agricultural areas, dry land areas, drip irrigation, sprinkler irrigation, this kind of micro irrigation practice are increasing. In fact, even organic farming, permaculture, natural farming are increasing, which are using less water. This is the bright side of the water problem in India. Similarly, the water treatment plants are increasing in India. So all the domestic water is coming out would be treated, recycled and reused uh, for non potable use. So you can, you have to mention this things also. Finally, in these kind of questions, always you have to give your suggestions. Though the question did not ask for any suggestions, you have to give suggestions. At least in the conclusion, write one paragraph of suggestions. You have to say, India has to go back to the traditional methods of rainwater harvesting. Almost every house or apartment has to go for rainwater harvesting. In this way, we can we can at least delay the delay the you know, time by which zero groundwater can occur in India. We call it as day zero day zero day zero can be delayed delayed postponed similarly wetland conservation is very important because wetlands are the most important sources for increasing the groundwaters i mean the aquifers they replenish the aquifers so wetlands shall be conserved of course we have ramsar convention india is following ramsar convention however still all the wetlands of india are not recognized under the ramsar convention even the smallest of wetlands shall be conserved for future Similarly, reusing and recycling and reducing, RRR, reduce, recycle and reuse the water. You know, wetland I discussed already. Decentralized approach, because only central government, state government cannot actually take care of conservation of water. It has to go to the level of panchayats and municipalities. So, capacity building, training of the panchayats and municipalities in the methods of water conservation is very important at this time. So, in this way, you can conclude the answer. Friends, the question for tomorrow, uh, from tomorrow, I will be dealing only one question per day, but every day I will be uh, discussing one question and it will be like tomorrow GS1, the next day GS2, next day GS3, GS4, again GS1, 2, 3, 4, it will be rotation basis. So I would deal GS1, 2, 3, 4 and on Sundays I will be discussing one essay. On Sundays I will be discussing any one essay. Otherwise I will be doing 1, 2, 3, 4, one question per day till prelims and after prelims I would increase the number of questions per day because that is the time when you have to start writing more answers every day. Okay friends, all the best. Take care. Bye.